Hey, what's up everyone? It's Vincent B here and today is June 21st and we are looking at an epic massive crash in Ethereum like I don't think anybody's ever seen before we had a huge drop here the other day and now another huge drop with a 24 hour low of 0 0.1105 which is about 287.65 uh, US dollars for the price of Ethereum so we have a record drop that I don't think anybody's seen coming at least not this much and I even heard reports that it was down to 13 USD according to Crypt Crypto Watch I think that's supposed to say um, $74 on Coinbase somebody has here and I heard it was at the I heard it hit $13 on Bittrex or no hold on a second that says 74 was it GDAX it hit 13 I was on polo so I didn't see it drop below the um below that 287 so here we see it on at 300 I believe that's the current price at least on polo here last price was 1172 which is 306 and I believe Coinbase is down not surprisingly um, let's see must be some kind of glitch I didn't see it on Poloniex tracker so that was an hour ago I think they said it was at um, 309 low but um, so why is it going down so much there's a couple articles I've seen on it this one saying that ethereum transactions peaking while ether price plunge and they're basically saying the transactions are overloading the system uh, because of a uh, hot ICO market taking a toll on ethereum transactions it's getting increasingly difficult to get transactions through to buy those tokens but the rate at which new ones hit the market is not slowing down the ICO frenzy is the leading cause for the transaction overload and could be one of the reasons behind the recent decline in ether prices as perplexing as that may sound so I, you know, usually you would think high demand would mean higher prices, but in this case, we have higher demand bringing the price down. And this is at BitcoinChaser.com with uh, Ethereum transaction problem. They get into the economic logic here, and it's a pretty long article. I'll leave links to it. Maybe I'll read a little bit more here. The reason ICOs might be behind the dip in Ether price is precisely because they have clogged the network. The volume of Ethereum transactions is so high that gas costs have gone up. Funds from prospective ICO investors coming in are not helping either. Prices overcome these shortcomings. I'm sorry, not helping Ether prices overcome these shortcomings. This seems odd because on one hand most of the ICOs require investors to acquire Ether which would prop its price up on the other hand as Ethereum transactions become increasingly slow and costly users are discouraged from using the network for any other purpose than investing in the latest ICO so there's a Ethereum transaction chart 
see it just peaking up there. ICO investors move into the Ethereum network. Um, this says this might create a situation in which the ICO investors move into the Ethereum network. These investors mop up part of the funds that earlier Ethereum investors are looking to unload. The cycle then moves into the next level when exchanges start accepting Ethereum powered tokens, then Ether is no longer needed to acquire them. Until this situation balances out either through enough exchange trading or due to an ICO bubble bursting, Ethereum transaction issues will remain affecting the network either sporadically or more constantly. Ethereum ICOs take Bitcoin investment. In the meantime, some ICOs are also looking are also taking Bitcoin investment, helping them circumvent problems with Ethereum transactions. The most glaring and recent example is Civics. This ICO was taking investment in Ether as well as Bitcoin. If more ICOs do the same, then the price of Ether may plunge further. On the flip side, more Bitcoin investment in these ICOs means that Ethereum transactions might recede from their peak and help congestion die down. That could bring the amount of gas needed for a successful transaction down and ultimately balance the price of Ether out. So, it's still, you know, so early, um, so early in the game with these ICOs that the exchanges aren't even set up properly and it's it's basically just overloading and that's what this other um, article is about let's finish this one up uh, problems with Ethereum transactions create creating buying opportunities until this balance act happens if it happens at all Ether's prospects are not good the counter uh, counter cyclical Investors out there are probably looking at the situation with a twinkle in their eye. They might be getting ready to pick up some ether, hoping they can get it at the bottom of the cycle and sell it is high again when it's high again. Problems with Ethereum transactions could be creating buying opportunities, but it is a risky business. If a substantial number of people tries to unload tokens at the same time at any given time, ether prices could plunge again. This makes the counter cyclical approach in this case especially risky. Hopefully ether prices will stabilize soon. If that happens the bleeding might stop and the risk of speculative moves will be lower. Until that happens Ethereum transactions will keep on pushing the network beyond its limits. A scenario which users will have to send more ether to compensate for depreciation while the funds reach the intended party is now more likely. So. There's that article, and then there's this one here that talks about the status ICO, which I've been hearing a lot about, how it uh, generates over 60 million, fails to deliver, and triggers Ethereum overload. So basically the same idea here, a decentralized messaging app called Status, built on the Ethereum blockchain, raises over $60 million during its initial coin offering campaign, However, as soon as the sale started, the network became congested and the status team was unable to immediately provide everyone with their promised tokens. So it says also read Bitstamp initiates Litecoin trading function as the currency's price surges. That's interesting too. We'll cover that in another article. I think it's talking about Bitstamp um, taking Litecoin for trading. So maybe that will um, bring some of this congestion down. Um, and like the other one said, if they could buy these new ICOs with Bitcoin instead of just Ether, it would take some off the uh, Ether um, network overload. But that's what this is talking about here. The coin generation event imploded as a result of too many transactions being sent to the smart contract address simultaneously. So even more individuals tried to purchase tokens after that, causing the network to become engorged and unusable. This great mass of activity led to many transactions stalling or freezing or failing. 
A myriad of complaints by would-be token buyers then came flooding in en masse. Overall, based on the Ethereum Block Explorer, the current number of status tokens created sits at 1.68 billion. The number of token holders rests at 20,389 at the time of the writing. A Reddit post provided details about the ICO saying total market cap value of the status token will be 275 million. This makes it more valuable than the DAO at the time of its ICO. And we all probably remember the DAO. It is still unclear who was a, uh, who was able to complete transactions during the ICO and which transactions failed entirely. A Trustnotes.com article covered the bedlam and chaos rather eloqu eloquently. The sale was planned to last until the 4th of July, but the cap of 300,000 ETH was quickly reached during a frenzy period which broke down Ethereum's network, creating much congestion, backlog, and some shenanigans. Which again, we probably remember those shenanigans. Um, So it goes on to say how Ethereum's network overload causes service suspensions. The issue turned out to be a huge problem for the Ethereum network as a whole as a result of the massive amounts of status ICO transactions and other Ethereum transactions taking place, the system essentially failed. Coinbase even placed Ethereum transactions on hold until its blockchain can function properly again. And I remember seeing that. Um, today all day it was yellow and then yesterday and I believe the day before it was a light blue saying that there was delays and then um, eventually today it said it was on hold well we investigate an issue recent or new received and sent transactions may remain pending longer than expected and that was all day and now they're still down I believe I'll double check them real quick Show you guys service unavailable, which seems to always happen when the price goes low and we'd like to get in there and buy some, possibly. Um, I really wish I would have saved some money to buy it up down here. Unfortunately, I did most of my buying up here, which I, sh I sh you know, I had a feeling, but um, you know, I thought it might go down. I, I was not expecting this, so. Um, Anyways, there was a little bit more on this article um, talking about Ethereum's price begins to plummet, ecosystem greed, and healing the network. No telling when Ethereum will be back and healthy online, but the consequences of the mad rush for ICO speculation have been severe. According to CoinMarketCap stats, the price of Ethereum has begun a descent. It is sitting down at 12.04% and still falling at the time of writing. And this is written at news.bitcoin.com. Status ICO generates over 60 million but fails to deliver. Meanwhile, Ethereum flounders. So again, the irony where the Ethereum ICO is making, uh, you know, it's record sales for an ICO while Ethereum price just tanks. It's ironic um, no one can be certain okay um, where did I leave off here no telling when ethereum will be back in healthy online but the consequences of the mad rush for ICO speculation have been severe yeah I read that one uh, some people believe the prior ethereum price surge has been a result of rampant speculation and greed of the market which were sparked by ICO feeding frenzies. Uh, Doggy Coin or Dogecoin founder Jackson Palmer recently made a video where he expressed concerns regarding the current environment of greed. He said the real reason the Ether price has been going up something like a hundred dollars per week for the, la for the past month is really just greed. Greed from developers, greed from investors, and greed from everybody in the speculative market. Yeah, we all know that. There's a lot of that going on. Anybody that trades, you can see how um, you know a new ICO comes out or a new rumor comes out, and the spike just uh, is crazy. Um, no one can be certain 
no one can be certain pure greed contributed to the recent Ethereum bull market. But there was certainly so much cash floating around that all the excitement may come to a grinding halt. That is not surprising. However, when today's coin generation events or ICOs are pulling in millions of dollars within minutes, and for the Ethereum status quo to continue forward uninhibited, the network congestion issue would have to be addressed. Until then, the price could enter a nasty, ferocious, bearish, saddening trend. Wow. So many uh, negative adjectives there in a row. My goodness. Nasty, ferocious, bearish, saddening trend. Doom for Ethereum. Do you think status will recover? I don't really care. Will Ethereum continue spiraling downward? It might. Share your thoughts below. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Do you think Ethereum will continue to spiral downward? Um, will status recover? Um, will I ever be able to read these articles without messing up <laughs> okay um i i personally think that uh i think it'll go back up the thing with ethereum is once it starts going the like i just read the speculation and greed take over i'm sure that's still alive and well it's just that uh, Ethereum's been dropped like a hot potato right now. And um, there's a lot of FUD, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. And uh, that can be just as bad as greed. But it all moves in waves. You know, tomorrow it'll be something else. And Ethereum will shoot back up before you know it, is what I'm going to say. But. Could be a while before we get back up to the all-time highs there. Um, we've been watching it go down for at least four days here. And, uh, you know, when it spiked up, I sold out. And I missed a lot of this spikes. I sold out back here. And I got back in down here. And... As soon as I did, I felt like it probably wasn't a good idea. I actually sold a tiny bit here, but really wish I would have totally got out there. I ended up getting in even more over here because I thought for sure this is the bottom. Um, kind of like I'm thinking now, so I don't know how much you can really go by my logic. Um, I thought this was really bad. And then we see this today. So what do you guys think? Um, what I tend to notice is it spikes up and it goes down and then it spikes up and it goes down and then it spikes up. Usually goes sideways for a while and then it'll go down and right when you think that it's all over it'll spike back up. And then it'll go down and sideways and then spike back up, go down a little bit, spike up sideways up down sideways up down up you know for the most part that's a big up there a lot of volatility small spike down a lot of sideways another big drop down but um i heard somebody talk about the law of transitive law of equality so basically you can take any part of this chart and apply it to other parts of the chart. So if you had, you know, sideways and down and then a big jump up, what we have here is sideways and down. And I think uh, next comes a big jump up. We might see, like for instance here, we had it down a little bit up and a little bit sideways so we might see that but then we're probably going to see a big jump up i thought it would keep going up with all the bitcoin controversy and we've seen litecoin go up because of that and i thought that for sure ethereum would be going up too 
I think it took a lot of people by surprise and I think this is just people panic selling and I'm not going to do that I'm going to hold on and just wait I have plenty of other good investments that are paying out every day in the crypto world you can check my channel out for more on that and if you want subscribe turn on post notifications like comment let me know what you think and I will keep you updated on ethereum altcoins and everything crypto so have a good one and I will talk to you later